Welcome, my beautiful Aries. I'm going to do your reading. I'm using the Giant Rider Waite Tarot deck. I have pre-shuffled. I will just uh, give it an extra shuffle. This reading, Aries, it is the 2nd of June today. And this reading is for, well, the second week of June, uh, although from here, here onwards. So, okay, let me just get my cards together. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments section. And so this reading is uh, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, please uh, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. You can also uh, contact me via the donation link. For those of you that are wondering about um, personal readings, so um, in the next months, perhaps I can fit in a personal reading. You can always just drop me a... A message via the donation link you don't have to put uh, any amount like 1p or whatever it takes to or nothing and then just um, say yeah just just let me know if you're interested in personal reading and then we can just agree on the um, on the message for example so I've done that before it's just that right now I can't really um, let's say commit to exactly the time <laughs> Um, but uh, that could be one way. Uh, however, in July, I might set up something for a few weeks and then I will give clear instructions, okay? I am done shuffling, waffling as well. Now let's get to your reading, the uh, most important part. And we are going to, uh, yeah, see what is in store for you, especially in love, okay? Who is showing up in your energy? What is the final outcome? And yeah, what is it that you want at this time, Aries? Okay, this card wanted to come out. So, this is in reverse. Releasing burdens here. Looking at burdens in a different way. And I did see two, 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 two. And that also means that you're finding a different way at looking at things and doing things to lift burdens, but to also feel more love and that things are easier in your everyday life. So the emperor, well, Aries, that is also an energy around you. There is someone here that, well, they could have Aries in their chart, but this person, they want to gain control in this connection. They feel a little sad that um, things have not turned out the way, well, have not moved forward between the two of you, um, Aries. They could see you uh, as someone that is uh, very compassionate. Perhaps some of you have Pisces in your chart as well. Uh, maybe even Leo in your chart, or you're dealing with someone with Leo in their chart. They, they feel sad that they have disappointed you, but at the same time, this is someone that is uh, wallowing in their sadness, okay? They are wallowing in their should have, would have, could have. They're, even if it's uh, self, you know, they're, they're self-inflicted in a way. Because this person, I feel that they have, they've run away from the connection uh, at some point to hide something. Maybe they hide a commitment. Maybe they've been hiding their feelings. Um, I'm feeling here, yeah, they, they're, they've been hiding their feelings. Now, this person, um, they want to come in to give you an offer. Where they are, nothing is moving forward. They feel sad. They know when you are aware or are in their life, everything just seems more magical. Things are moving forward. They might have uh, you know, more abundance. They have more colorful everyday life. They know that you are the missing piece in their life. And they underestimated how important you are to them, how much they miss you. But when they're staying in the Five of Cups without taking any action, just dreaming and imagining you are together, you are their spouse, you are happily, you know, engaged. Nothing is really, well, they can manifest you, of course, but um, in this person's mind, they could be sulking a little bit too much and they're just constantly 
they they act and feel pessimistic uh, instead of um, you know they are sort of waiting they're waiting for something to grow but have they invested how much have, have did they stop invest so they they think of something that happened and then they think oh well I left the connection or I did this I did that so yes now that's something I will be mourning for ever so they have to change something and again two 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 in this instance it says that someone can make a tweak do do something to improve the situation it doesn't have to be this way because romance and friendships that feed our souls you know you have to invest in them so they are realizing that what they ha they have to do something they have to let go of what sadness happened in the past to them. They have to tap. There's something about tapping into inner strength. And that's what you are doing. Tapping into inner strength. And overcoming hardship. But you, is it, you're overcoming hardship by tapping into the inner strength. This person, they, they might have, you know, their traditional beliefs might actually be a... Um, you know, it's a good thing, but then it can actually pull them down. They need to think of something in a different way. They need to have a different attitude towards this connection, towards life. This person might not have that faith in the universe, like you have, for instance, having the faith and pulling in a in strength and saying, I can do something about this. Okay, this person has a different mindset, but something is happening. Something is changing also within them. Let's see what they are going to do, Aries. What are they going to do? Um, because this person is definitely unable to move on. <laughs> um, they might be speaking to a family member about you as well. They might be reaching out and ask the, the wiser person in the family. They could have a close relation to someone in their family that they eventually will say um, okay that this is the reason I am I am feeling sad or feeling stuck okay who is this person that is showing up in Aries reading today it's okay yeah so this person tend to feel stuck in their mind um, feeling trapped and victimized they feel restricted and helpless suffocated smothered um, yeah and they can only find that strength from within uh, and, and find that abundance <laughs> they have access to um, I see that this person is going through a hardship because they've invested in something that has been in vain. They feel it's not growing. They feel there's no abundance. And it has to do actually with this person's friends, family, perhaps around them. They haven't, they haven't got any support, like the support that was needed at some point. Perhaps they invested in a relationship that was against them. I'm picking up that for many of you are dealing with a person that drained themselves in the wrong relationship, in the wrong job, in the wrong, like they stayed somewhere for too long that has drained them, that's taken something away from them that mentally. Because this person, they, they are someone lighthearted in many ways. So they, but they can get stuck in their head. Uh, we have Aquarius, uh, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus is coming up. You are oh, their wish fulfillment. You are uh, who they fantasize about. You are the person that they feel spiritually connected to Aries. And uh, yes, you are the person that they are pulled towards. So maybe they have a uh, Virgo in their chart. So they're self-reflecting, maybe withdrawing. But this time when they withdraw, they are finding knowledge from within that is not utilized, used as knowledge. There is a breakthrough. 
Okay, I see this person with the devil in reverse. They are going to break free of the chains that is pulling this person down. This person might start to speak up, um, speak up about what they're lacking, speak up about what's got happened with them. It's possible that this person have experienced abuse at some point in their life. It's possible that within an institution or a relationship, marriage, family, community, this person had experienced something that is making them like think a certain way and that where they constantly feel burnt out and they constantly feel stuck and they it's to do with their mindset and their limiting beliefs. Something is changing within this person. I feel that this person is starting to believe in the universe and the synchronicities and finding a new way to find strength, to look at something as it is not all lost because if there is some love that you're feeling sad about, that mean, means that you want something. And this person, I believe here what I'm seeing is that they are now looking at, well, if I feel sad about Aries, if I feel down and I'm thinking about Aries and I still think about, oh, this was the, you know, I've done this, this happened and, you know, should have, would have, could have. I I mean, if I feel this way, that must mean that I also have feelings towards Aries and for Aries. And that is a good thing that I have feelings of love. So what can I do? Um, I think that this person could be getting uh, advice maybe from a father figure or a wiser one, something that is... They could be healing, maybe a, a relationship that has to do with the, the, this could be spiritually ancestral, um, yeah, healing, speaking to someone, speaking to their higher self, even something is happening, okay, in the way they are looking at the situation from within. They are finding out that there is another way, they are finding out that to create this harmonious and stable life for themselves they it's something about they have to accept that okay things have not been easy but there has been obstacles and conflicts in their life but they need to find a way to stay positive and tapping into something about a strength to overcome the hardship I feel like this person could be changing their attitude towards life. This person feels that all the work and, and, and so on they've been doing, it's not working, so they are giving up. This is someone that has repeated something over and there is a, some, a tweak they need to do. They need to continue working at it. But at this time, they feel that it has all been in vain. So, yeah, that's them. Aries, we are going to look into your energy, what is coming up. So, I'm going to use this deck. Okay. <clears throat> you have the fool. You have the four, which is your energy, Aries. There's a lot of Aries energy here. Okay, the four, the five of swords, and the strength. Yeah, ten of pentacles, home, family, establishment is important for you. And family and bo bonds will be strengthened at this time. Now, when it comes to your feelings um, about what's going to happen next, I see that there will be justice, there will be good news coming to you, okay? This person that is stuck in their head, they could have Leo in their chart, there will be a message coming from them. And you will feel very happy, they will feel very, very happy if they hear from you, if you respond to them, maybe someone is blocked or so, or there is a break in communication. Now, okay, so, 
Could it be someone around you or them that is jealous? There is a toxic connection here. Someone that is, is pulling the chains. Someone that is... Um, it could be on your side or, or their side, okay? The, around this connection, it might be... Even if you neither of you know about it, it is possible an outsider or... I think I've seen that in a previous reading, that an outsider had been, call, call it, yanking those chains. So it has not made it easy for this connection to come together because someone or something seemed to have popped up constantly. If it's not one thing, it's the other. It's something that have popped up within this connection that have made it seem impossible to get together. And it's almost as if yeah, I'm picking up it's two people that are yearning to be together, but from the first moment you laid the eyes on each other and you have shared special moments of love and romance and even physical contact, something came in between. And what is that something? Is it someone? Who is yanking those chains? Now, when it comes to a person, it looks like they know that it could be their ego, could be limiting beliefs from their past, from their father, from ancestors, okay? It could be even if they are, have been in a relationship or are in a relationship, that they are saying, well, I've got to stay here, but I have feelings for Aries. So that creates a difficult situation because then you have third parties knowing about it. Okay, that's then yanking that ch the chains. Or could it be you, Aries, that have been in a codependent relationship? Uh, so... Some of you, Aries, for a few of you, there is a material aspect to it. Um, there's a material win to stay in a certain connection. Um, and you could even choose to stay in the connection based on even material impact uh, that is uh, necessary. Wealth, it, it is not something that is easy to give up. Neither is, well, could be any addiction, could be any sexual, um, you know, that is within the connection as well. <clears throat> in this situation, for some of you, if you are in a marriage um, that is coming, well, well, there's a mutual ending where a few of you, you there is a sexual connection that have started, well, I can't even speak this morning, I need more coffee, so sorry about that. It's a strong physical attraction, obsessive attra uh, attraction, fantasizing. And then it's made into something that is a taboo because one person here is saying, oh no, can't be, can't be that attracted to Aries, can't be that attracted to them. You could say that. So therefore, this is a definitely a bad thing. This is something that should be, <laughs> you know, put a, put a, what do you call it? When you're boiling something, it's like, <laughs> put the bubbles down. Can't, can't be this. Just, just pull it, push it down. That, so then, of course, that become it's very toxic. It's going to boil over. It's going to explode, in fact, if it's pushed down constantly, constantly, constantly. And then if you put that boil on high heat, you know, I don't cook very much, but <clears throat> when I do, that usually happens. <clears throat> so for some of you, there is a Capricorn um, that have come back to yank those chains to say, well, it's me and you against the world. There's no one else against the world. Look, I'm the one that is here. Who else is here? So on your person's side, it could be uh, Capricorn, possibly uh, Taurus. So this person is saying, well, yeah, that's true. That is the only person that's showing up, but uh, they are here with the chains, but I, they don't have my heart in those chains. Now, it is possible It is possible that this has to do with uh, wealth. There is an um, unknown factor about wealth. Someone is holding on to another person because of materialistic gain. You might 
work with this person or there is a connection through work. There is not an expressed emotions. For some of you, it could be anything from a, a strong attraction that's been going on over time and the person have not expressed their feelings, but they have feelings. Their situation is that they're not happy where they are and eight of swords and nine of swords, eventually it will turn to 10 and then, you know, it will come to the ace of swords. So perhaps there is a breakthrough before that happens, before the tower before yeah there, there is a breakthrough I believe it has to do with this person's going within seeking spiritual help even to find a different way not to look at things in such heavy way and it's easier said than done you know there's a lot of wounds within everyone uh, many so it's uh I see this person here is finding that they can only fix it themselves it is not helping that they have an outside surroundings that cannot help them perhaps um, but uh, they can do something themselves what you are feeling Aries is that if this person did reach out if this person did come towards you you will you will be very happy to hear from them no, not everything is lost there is unconditional love between the two of you, for sure. Yeah, definitely unconditional love. Um, what is the most likely outcome for you and your person? What is the most likely outcome for Aries and their person? So we are looking into the beginning of June, second week of June. Can you believe it is summer over here? Today it's 23 degrees outside. I must go outside soon. Actually, my father called me very early. He's up very early. <laughs> uh, he's, um, yeah, he's uh, not here in the country, but uh, he's very sweet. Um, he's now got a, I've actually himself in a beautiful, beautiful, um, it's a home, care home. Uh, and I think it must be the nicest one in the world without, <laughs> it looks like five stars, brand new. Um, he has um, uh, dementia, which is the Levi one. That, He's um, uh, hallucinations. He's uh, only 72, so but, um, he's very sweet. He calls me and he's, so he's very sad today, so I try to cheer him up. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, with the illness, there is a lot going on in their mind. So, Aries, the magician. Yeah, your person, they know, they have skills, tools, access to do something about what is going on around them. If they're being mistreated, they need to get away from a situation. They need to get away from someone that is, is keeping them stuck. And how can they get away from it? It has to do with their mind. They are, they, you know, because of the Hierophant, is as if they're just saying that this is how it is and it's almost like a stone sinking to the ground. Someone is being very manipulative, yeah. I don't think this person have much support from... Um, they, they might have been seeking either emotional support from a father figure or mother figure, but they're not getting that support. They don't understand them. They might not have been in a race the way, way that it could be open about their love life, perhaps. So a Gemini energy is here. There is someone here, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is in the sidelines around this connection and knows what they are doing. They could have Gemini in their chart. There is a hidden enemy that is straining someone, draining a uh, strain from caring from others, yeah, feeling under pressure. There is definitely an institution, workplace or marriage that someone is just at their wit's end and they don't actually realize how much it's taking its toll on them. They don't realize how much that is. Yeah, I feel very tired just reading so the justice, the high priestess, finding the knowledge within. And I've been speaking about it a few times this week as well, that the high priestess and the justice, you don't see it in these cards, but if you see the, um, uh, sorry, the Hierophant. So 
they actually, you can't see it here, but they said the pillars are the same. It's different decoration. You know, when the priest, um, it's a long time since I've been in church, but when I was a kid, I was always curious about why does the priest change their outfit? Uh, that was what I was paying attention to as a child. It's like, mom, is, that was, now it's purple. Next time it's green. Is it the same priest? And yeah, it's the same priest, but now is this part of the, uh, you know, this part of the, well, I can't I remember the word <laughs> preach for the day. Gosh, I'm a bit tired. I need to get some sun outside. So they sit in the same place, but they're changing the behind. There is usually the high priestess. You have the pomegranates on, the justice. I don't think it's anything, and the hierophant. So first you have to read the book by opening the keys. When you go through the justice, though, most, most of us go through on the right-hand side and go down a, a place of a toxic way of thinking, perhaps maybe... So there's the ego pulling us and saying, no, let's bury things under and let's get on with it because this is how I've been raised. So this person might be raised that they're not showing feelings. They are not showing remorse even, that they are laughing of things that they shouldn't laugh about. They have been trained not to be weak. For them, a weakness is showing emotions. So because this is the way, they tend to sort of stay stuck in their ego and they tend to stay stuck. And the, the devil here has a lot to say. Yeah, it's a huge impact. Now, there is someone that is manipulating them and draining them. They find themselves in a situation where there's constant, constant fights. Now, Aries, between you and them, you feel as well there is something in between you. If you are in a workplace, you feel that, why does always something happen when I move on or I'm going to enjoy myself? Why does this happen? Why, what is this thing? Who is planting the seed? Someone, someone is in denial that there is a person that do not want them to be with you. <clears throat> and this person might not even be known. I feel here there's someone that is very analytical, someone that watches with a smile on their face, but someone behind the scenes are able to do something that someone with an authority figure, so if this is in a workplace, this could be a manager or people at work, there is like, okay, let's, let's get involved here. But the answer, answers will be found about this. It's coming to light. It is coming to light. I'm going to pull a few more cards. What is this, uh, does this mean, Spirit? The seven of Aaliyah. Yeah. Aaliyah again. Is it Aaliyah? Does someone have a relationship with the Leo, perhaps? Does they have a child with a Leo, a child that is a Leo? There is someone here draining someone else. Yeah, certainly draining me as well. Now, something like that, it doesn't last forever, okay? It, someone has having a breakthrough. I know this reading is a little weird. It went a little bit off, unhinged <laughs> in a way. It's definitely a soul connection, twin flame connection, divine connection. It is something in between here. They're saying, no, those two people cannot be together. It's not grounded. It's not happiness. It's strictly possessive. Gotta, gotta ruin this. So either on your side, Aries, or on their side, someone is saying that this these two people cannot be together, God forbid, <laughs> that's it, and just because, just because. It has to do with your person's belief system, it has to do with restriction, holding back emotion, saying that no, this is not possible, this would be a taboo, this would be terrible if anyone knew this, why? So there's no real reason to why <laughs> that is so. 
Anything else there for Aries? Okay. It has to do with finances. Why is that? Why does it have to do with finances? Let me see, let me see. Hmm. I Could it be on your side, Aries? You tell me. Unconditional love. Twin flame connection, self-worth, value, karmic connection. Well, karmic resentment and triggers perception and letting go, turmoil, fleeting, separation. So, okay, yeah. There, okay, again, there is someone that came in between the two of you at some point. This could be an authoritative person that came in between. They knew what they were doing to ensure that a memory was deleted, that two people should not come together again, and that this connection should be like stamped as toxic. Why? See, you gotta have some quite messed up belief system to believe uh, that, and I often get surprised as well. I mean, I, I believe that love is love. If you have strong feelings for someone, <laughs> usually that's a good thing. How can that be a bad, bad thing? If it should be quite, you know, love is not complicated. It is not. It's like a belief, okay? It's like they teach children. If you believe in Jesus, all you have to do is believe and that's it. Okay, that's not complicated. But for, for those that turn it into something fanatic, they will say, and that's what many people turn away from religion. It's like, you have to follow rules. This, 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 that. If you are not doing this, 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 that, then you can't go to heaven. So in this case, someone have said, you are in this relationship, you have to be in this relationship, or you have to be in this institution, this job. You have to be just because. Can you not see this is how everyone does it? How do you think that you could be with someone you work with or used to work with? They are from a different religion or from a different class. We are rich over here. They are poor over there. You cannot do that. It's making no sense. That's what it's doing. So someone have come in between that is competition, an enemy, another woman perhaps looking over your shoulder that came in and then planted the seed and said, ha, that's going to sort this out. These two people are going to be against each other now. These two people that started to fall in love with each other, started to blow kisses, started to appreciate each other. We must destroy it. And if there is something that I can use to pull those change, chains, because I have, this is someone, only someone that can pull chains, chains, sorry, is someone that spend their time analyzing people's happiness. This is someone that analyze when they see someone feeling, see a smile or a bit more excited, they do something. That's often someone that's behind the scenes in this person. They will be the one that smile, say a little perhaps, and that always seems calm, cool, and collected. It's the people that react and feel like all over the place that will say, well, I've got to be this person. This person is not well together. You know, this person is off hinge, unhinged or something like that, you know. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, Aries. Thank you very much for your time. I'm sending you so much love and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care.